All right, people, you know what time it is. We're gonna do clutter and miscellaneous. This is gonna be a fairly long video because um, there's a lot of mods in this section. So let's just get into it. Clutter and miscellaneous, gonna make this separator. Copy this, go into the wrench spanner here, create separator, paste it. All right, now we're ready to get to work. Torture rack, 4K retexture of the torture rack with added environment map using the mesh from SMIM from Brombeck. Added 3D meshes to replace the flat rope and metal ring. Now has optional versions, more dirty and bloody in appearance. So we got a main file, optional file here. And I guess we're not gonna merge it because we're not being instructed to. So let's go and download them. Open files. So we want 2K, 2K, good, good. So 2K, torture rack. And we want the 2K dirty and bloody. Very cool. So let's install the main file first. And it's not exactly 4K we're installing, so I'm gonna just change it to 2K. Just makes me feel better. Now we're gonna do the 2K bloody. And we're gonna rename it because we don't wanna merge it, I guess. So we're gonna do 2K dirty and bloody. All right. And let's activate those. All right, next up, Animated Clutter, SSE. This mod adds opening closing animations to several objects that should be animated for the sake of greater realism. Realism is another word for immersion. So let's download version 1.9. Mod Magic download, very good. Looks like it's doing that thing where it just sort of paused. So if this happens to you, this is what you can do. Click pause, so where it says pausing, then double click on it, and it should get things rolling. All right, so there's a full mod. Let's get this prepped, Boop. double click. So click next, next, and we want custom. Click next, next, and we're gonna want everything in animal related containers. We want everything under coffins. Scroll down to doors. We want everything concerning doors. I was gonna try to scroll down here. Click next here. So we're on former chest. Let me open this up a little bit. All right, what do we want? We want former chest, the first option here. And then under miscellaneous, from as far as I could see, at least at least to Thieves Guild Cash, we wanna click all those. All the way down. Whoops, I'm stopping at Thieves Guild Cash just in case. Clicking next over here. Okay, so we do want everything. Ooh, that's suspense, ooh. Sewers and wells, we want everything here. Ships, we want ships, uh, trap doors. Trap doors, we want everything. Let's click next. Next again. We want to choose both of these options. Click next. And that looks like that's it, install. Very good. It's a pretty cool mod. During installation, MA2 may give a warning notice saying there are missing files or folders. We didn't get that warning. We're good. Basic dining set replacer. This mod replaces the dining set we often see in farmhouses or taverns in Skyrim. We want the main file, 1K replacer. All right, that's the very first option here. Very cool. Oh, very pretty. All right, let's install it. Okay, activate that. CC's Enhanced Ore Veins SSE Edition. This mod retextures ore veins in mined ore. So we got a main file and an update file, which means we're gonna merge them. So let's go and download it. All right, we want the 2K version. And we want the update. That's not the update. Oh, that is the update. Yeah. And download the update. Okay, so first we're gonna install the main file. Oh, there's a full mod. Interesting, interesting. Let's open up this full mod, what we got. Click next, next. You want the gray option, yes. Next, next. All right, we're gonna go with the brighter option here. Make sure you can see uh, the ore veins a little bit easier. Very good. Go on next and next again. We're gonna install new textures for the ores. Next, we want the brown option, our brow option. <laughs> next. 
no new ingots. We're gonna use another mod for those. Next, next, patches. We don't want Hearthfire, install. Close that up. All right, gonna go ahead and activate this. Well, not activate yet. Let's install the patch first. Just double click, make sure the names match. They do, okay, and then click merge. Awesome. Now let's activate it. All right, Lean Wolf's better shaped Talos statue with great sword. A simple mesh replacer that gives the statue of Talos a great sword rather than that toothpick he was holding for a more warrior-like Talos statue. Okay, let's, let's download that. Files. Let's download the main file. Good. Double click to install. Okay, so Talos statues. We want high poly statue, high poly statue weapon. We want Nord Hero great sword. Nord Hero great sword. Scroll down. And we want the patch for no snow under the roof. Click on that. Next. Next. And for uh, this page, we want Nor snow Nord Hero great sword. Click on that. And then install. Minimize that. Activate this. Bloodstone Chalice Reborn. This mod is a complete overhaul of the original Vampire Quest item. All new meshes and textures were created to fix the ugly distorted eyesore that was the original. We want the 2K slash 1K version. Download. Files. 2K, 1K, 2K, 1K. The third option here. And this is a Legendary Edition mod. Very cool. Bloods Bloodstone Chalice. Okay. Activate. Dark Brotherhood Tenants Restored. This mod improves the textures of the Dark Brotherhood Tenants. We want the Extreme Edition. Download. Files. And Extreme Edition is the very first uh, first option here. Want to manage your download? Good. And let's install it. Dressed Hearthfire Doll. She was naked in the cold of Skyrim for a long time. Now she has a red one-piece dress and a new face for this old cloth doll. And there's a full mod, so let's go and download it. I am really looking forward to playing this game again. Let's download the main file here. And let's open up this full mod. Double click. Looks like we're sticking with the default. Click next. Next. We're going human zero. Next. Next. And looks like we're sticking with red. Install. Let's activate that. Easier lock picking without cheating. Nordic Retexture. This mod retextures the locks in Skyrim to be more scratched and weathered looking as would be expected. This gives more visual reference points to remember lock pick placement. When a pick breaks, it's easier to find a spot to try again. And Nordic Locks. Oh, only one option. Mod Manager Download. All right, double click to install. Activate that. El Sopa Papers HDSE. This mod retextures the paper using books, letters, notes, and journals. Let's download that. Files. Uh, we want paper HD, right? Yeah. Second option. Okay. Boom, -de boom. Activate that. Forgotten Retex Project. This mod retextures random clutter that is not covered elsewhere. We want a main file and a miscellaneous file. And we're going to install these as separate mods. So let's do it. Alright, so download the first. And also the miscellaneous. Alright, cool. And we got a full mod here. Let's open up this full mod. Uh, we want the draw knife and the silver mold and then click install. Okay. Gonna minimize this. Now let's install that patch, the miscellaneous file here. And let's rename this so it doesn't merge. Realistic HD Woodcutters Axe Remastered. Nice. Let's clear this up. Right click, delete, install downloads. All right. Uh, Iconics Remastered. Paragon Gems Retexture. High quality remastered Paragon Gems from the Forgotten Veil in the Dawn Guard DLC. Let's download that. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get this full mod prepped. Double click. We want the 2K option. Click next. Next. 
And we want the gold metal color install. Minimize that. Let's activate that. Rally Smithy Texture Replacer for anvils, blacksmith hammers, hot iron rods, and tongs. Rally Smithy 1.2 download. Go to files, mod manager download. And let's see what the full mod says. Next. Next. We want the 2K, 1K version. Next. Next, for the smelter, we want the, we don't want that. Now click install. Okay. SD's horn candles, new custom meshes and custom textures for the game's horn hand candle, 1K version. Let's download it. Files, 1K is the first option here. Let's download it. And install it. JS Dragon Claws SC. This mod protects all the Nordic Ruin Dragon Claws. I remember when this mod first came out. My jaw dropped at how beautiful this is. So let's get to 2Q version. Second option here. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Alright, let's install it. Boom. Alright, now a bunch of JS Dragon Claw patches. This mod adds various patches for JS Dragon Claws. We got a bunch of main files here, and we're not being told to merge them, so we're gonna install the install these as separate mods. Files. So let's go down the list. Amethyst, Helgen, Conorix, Legacy of Dragonborn, and Warm's Tooth. So Amethyst is first. Helgen was an option, yes. Keep going. Conrix also. Legacy of the Dragon. Basically all of them. Download all of them. And finally, Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth. Looking forward to playing through that mod again. Okay. The order of these doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to match the order here in the guide. So, Amethyst first. Make sure we, we rename them. Okay. Helgen Reborn. Although it probably wouldn't hurt to merge these. I, I'm pretty sure these are all just plugins. And it looks like they're going to be merged anyway in a merge plugin somewhere. Alright, Conrix. Drop down, Conrix. Accoutrement. That's one of those words, I just like saying it. Legacy of Dragonborn. Good. And then finally, Worm's Tooth. Okay. And let's activate them. Whew, I bet these plugins are stacking up. Let's take a peek. Plugins. Oh yeah, look at that. We're already at 187 plugins, man. Don't worry about the little error here. That's to be expected until uh, we finish the guide. So download. All right. JS Instruments of Skyrim SE. This mod is a complete remake of the Loot, Flute, and Drum 2K version. And that's the first option here. And then double click to install. Then activate it. JS Purses and Septums. A complete recreation of Septums, Coin Curses, and Coin Piles. We want to download the full mod. Oh, there's only one option anyway. When I bought the Legendary Edition of Skyrim, it came with a Septum. Like in real life. A little bronze little... I think it's bronze. I don't know. But yeah, I got one of these. They're about as big as a silver dollar. Maybe a little bit bigger. Thicker. Definitely thicker. Well, let's install this. JS Purses. Double click. Here's the full mod. Expand this. And let me go ahead and drag this out a little bit. There we go. So, purse texture. We want 1K. Coin textures. We want dirty 1K. So dirty. Coin piles. Dirty 1K. Okay. Objects like this that are so small, there's no point in going above 1K. Next. Next. And this here, replacer options, we want the path relocation, and that's it, install. Yeah, you want the higher res uh, textures for stuff like um, mountains and people, I guess. But stuff like coins and little knickknacks, yeah. Rustic Maps, high res lore friendly read texture of the two battle maps in Skyrim. Now you can read all the map information in game, if you choose the 4K option, that is. 
we want the 4K 2K version. Keep going, it's the third option here. Double click to install. So those of you who are new to Mod Organizer, how you liking it? Pretty cool, huh? How, how awesome it is to organize everything like this? All right, hold border banners. This mod adds banners along roadsides at the boundaries of two holds. The banner will show which hold is being entered. If unsure which hold the banner represents, simply target it and the name of the hold will reappear. And we got a special instructions here. So let's go and download this first. And... Okay, we want the, the top version, the first uh, option here. Download that. And we're going to delete the BSA. The textures from this mod are not required, so you don't need to extract this BSA before deleting it. Okay, we're just going to delete it. Or you can do what I do. Double click, click on manual, and then untick the box next to BSA so you don't install it at all. And the reason why we're getting rid of that BSA is because we're going to use another texture mod to uh, texture the whole border banners. All right, Peltapalooza Special Edition. This mod increases the number of pelts used by the game from the default three to nine and adds new, higher quality textures. We want the full version. Another cool mod. All these mods are cool. So we want the full first option here. Let's double click this, okay. And now Realistic HD Baskets Remastered. <laughs> Got to Gotta mod those baskets, man. No stone unturned. Mod manager download. Mmm, much textures, much resolution. Alright, let's install it. Okay. Activate that. Clean this up. Right click, delete, install downloads. Boom. Alright, realistic HD food remastered. And looks like we're gonna be deleting some stuff. So let's go ahead and install it first. Go into files. That's downloaded. And double click to install. And we're going to do it my way. So double click, click on manual, go into meshes, clutter, food. And we're looking for cheese wheel 02. Here it is right here. And we want to untick both of these, all three of these rather. Untick, untick, untick. Then click OK. Nice one. Good job, guys. Realistic HD Mushrooms Remastered. Realistic HD Mushrooms. This mod improves the texture quality of mushrooms. Yeah, Skyrim is one of those games where... Man, I just go nuts when I'm harvesting alchemy ingredients. I'm just afraid I'm going to miss something. It could be kind of compulsive. Double click. Install. Okay. Activate that. High Poly Project. An ongoing process to improve the models of the game with more polygons, UV edits, or just replace them all together. Smim was an inspiration, and a lack of similar mods led me to make this. God bless you, sir. Our ma'am. Lucid APs. Let's download it. And we want the first option here. Alright. And there's going to be a full mod. So, since there's a full mod, we got to do it with this full mod menu. We have to actually install, then go into it and to delete these. Can't do it my way this time, guys. So, double click. Install everything. Next. Next. We do not want to choose statues and then install. Okay. So, let's right click on High Poly Project. Go into Open and Explore. Now, go into Meshes clutter and we want to delete candles so i'm deleting candles and we want to delete oh well let's go into wine now look for a uh, wine bottle o2b here it is right here wine bottle o2b.nif you want that right there second from the bottom and we got one more to delete so click on meshes up here to go back to the meshes layer then uh, double click on furniture and we want to delete the cart folder bam and that's it now we can activate that all right js shrines of the divines replaces vanilla divine shrines with completely remade higher resolution versions we want the 4k version for this oh yeah so it's the third option 
And this is another one of those mods that's just the amount of detail, jaw dropping. All right, double click to install. Okay. And activate. Retexture for soup. This mod is a high quality retexture of the various soups in Skyrim. Download. Click on files and we want the poor version. It's funny, we installed the poor version because the poor, oh, don't download the one for R&D. Don't do what I did just now. So I'm right clicking and deleting. Okay. We want for Smim Mesh, poor version. Scroll down, for Spin Mesh, poor version. As I was saying, uh, the poor version is the one that looks most like soup. <laughs> most like nondescript soup, everything else looks too fancy. Yeah. <laughs> looks good though. All right, double click to install. Retexture for soup, okay. And now let's activate it. Revamped Assets Skyrim. This mod gives new form, design, and definition to the vanilla assets of Skyrim whilst still respecting the original design scheme. And there's a full mod and a bunch of things we're going to delete. So let's go and download it. Version 0.31. Uh, do, do we want high or ultra? We want ultra. That's the second option. All right, let's get the full mod ready. And now let's install it. Double click. All right, so custom install for the first page. Click next, next. And I'm gonna open this up. So starting from the top, nothing here, nothing under armor, nothing under clothes, clutter, nothing so far. Click next. So we don't want anything for clutter. We want all the furniture, none of the traps and install. So basically we just want the furniture out of this mod. So install. And now we're gonna delete some stuff. So right click on revamped assets of Skyrim, open an explorer. We're going into meshes, furniture, and we're gonna delete everything that starts with enchanting. So these two, that bottom two. So control clicking and then deleting. Next up, meshes, furniture. Now we're gonna go into workbenches and we're gonna delete disenchant workbench 01. Disenchant workbench 01. Right there. Just triple checking. Disenchant workbench. Enchanting workbench. Okay, yeah, it's the third one, the one dead center. Go ahead and delete that. And then we're also, same folder, we're deleting everything that starts with enchanting. So the last two here too, as well. We only want to keep alchemy workbench in play. Okay, so now we need to go to Mesh is the load screen, so I'm clicking on meshes here to take us back to the mesh layer. We're going to go into load screen art. And we want to uh, delete the enchanting one. Load screen enchanting workbench, delete that. Now I'm going back to the main folder, revamped assets of Skyrim, clicking on that. Now we're going into textures, Jiffy MM, and we're going to delete the Raz folder. The only folder here, delete that. And that's that. Activate it. Now we're going to move on to Ragnarok Special Edition. This mod is a high quality mesh and texture for all the rugs found throughout the game. We want the 2K version. Go on files. 2K version, this third one down. And then just double clickety click to install it. So many mods, so many mods. Rustic Alchemy and Enchanting Tables. This mod is a rustic overhaul of the Alchemy and Enchanting Tables of Skyrim. The aim is to bring real antiquity to these arcane crafting tables as is fitting of their ancient origin. We want the main file, which is 2K, and we want the optional uh, file, which is a retext of revamped alchemy. And we're gonna be deleting a folder. So let's click download, files. So we want the 2K version under main files, and we want the optional file here. Okay, and we are not being instructed to merge them. So let's go to Rustic Alchemy and Enchanting. Install the main folder first. Okay. The Realistic HD Food, I mean, sorry, Retex a Revamped Alchemy. Drop down menu, rename it, Retex a Revamped Alchemy, and then okay. And now, 
doesn't say which or one of these that we want to delete this. So we're going to look for textures, dungeons, and both of them delete it. So let's start with the main file first. Open Explorer. Go to textures. There's the dungeons folder right there. Delete that folder. Now let's also go into retext or revamped alchemy. Open. Go into textures. And there's no dungeon folder in here. So we're done. Activate those mods. Rustic Amulet Special Edition. This mod retextures the amulets found in Skyrim, including the ones from the Dawnguard and Dragonborn DLCs. Oh yeah, Gamwich. This guy's a very talented artist. Files. Mod Manager Download. I mean, look at the amount of detail. Nice. Double click to install. Okay. And activate that. Rustic Clutter Collection Special Edition. This mod is a high res and lore friendly retexture of Skyrim dinnerware, pottery, silverware, goldware, and wine bottles. We want the 2K slash 1K version. Click on download. Go into files. And we're looking for 2K slash 1K. Third option. Mod manager download. Good. Double click. Okay. And then activate it. Rustic Cooking Special Edition. This mod is a retexture of the cooking apparatus in the three versions, fire, uh, fire spit, stand, and pedestal. We want the 2K version. And that's the second option here. All right, let's install it. All right, activate that. Rustic Furniture is a high resolution retexture of the noble furniture and high chest for Skyrim. 2K version. And wait, did we want the SMIM 2K? Yes, we want the SMIM 2K, the third option. I think there was a time when uh, in Lexi's guide, everything was like 4K if it was available. Looks like that was toned down, which makes sense. Like smaller objects, you really don't need a higher resolution textures. Like you're gonna, you're not gonna notice if a pebble has a 4K texture versus a 1K texture. Okay, rustic dragon corpse. Rustic dragon corpse is a retexture of the dragon skeleton that is revealed after the Dovahkiin absorbs the dragon soul. 4K version. Files and 4K. Like this is 4K because the dragon skeleton is actually a really big object and you get really close to it, so there's a big difference in texture quality. So let's install this. Okay. Tick that box. Rustic East Empire Company signage. Light version. This mod retextures the East Empire sign. Files. And we want the light version. Second option. All right. Double click to install that. Okay. Then let's activate it. Let's clean this up. Right click, delete install downloads. All right. Moving on, Rustic Elder Scroll Special Edition. This mod is a high quality retexture of the ancient Elder Scroll that features prominently as a quest item in both the main story and Dawnguard uh, DLC. We want the 4-2K version. Download, files. 4-2K is the third option. Mod Manager, download that. Close this up and install it. All right, Rustic Animated Potions and Poisons. This mod is a lore-friendly retexture of the potions and poisons found throughout Skyrim. We want a main file and an update file. The main file is going to be 2K-1K, so let's download that. Files. 2K-1K, that's the third option. Download this. And let's update. Uh, download the update. Mod Manager download. And we are going to merge these. So install the main file first, Rustic Animated Potions and Poisons. Okay, and then the update. Keep the names the same so they merge. Okay, merge. Rustic Soul Gem Special Edition. This mod features high res textures and modified meshes. The Soul Gems now have transparency and a subtle animated color shifting effect. Each Soul Gem has its own diffuse texture rather than... It's a very beautiful Soul Gem retexture mod, guys. <laughs> Let's install the full mod. Or download the full mod. And that is the last option in the main files here. Download that. Let's open up the full mod to get ready. 
double click. We want the 2K textures. Next. Next. Select your plugin. We want unassorted ESL plus gist patch. And then install it. And then activate that. Rustic Azure Star. Rustic Azure Star. Special edition is a high res retexture. We want the 2K version. Files 2K. First option. All right. Double click. And OK. I activate that. I told you. I told you it's going to be a lot of mods in this video. All right. Sigils of Skyrim Banners. Welcome to a revamped, realistic, and complete banner retexture project, the successor to Designs of the Nord. All right. We want banners. Files. So we have banners and shields. We just want the banners. Mod Manager Download. And double click to install. Okay. I never endorsed this. And I can't endorse it now. Alright, snazzy furniture and clutter overall. This mod spruces up Skyrim clutter with some new HD furniture. We are downloading a bunch of stuff here. So main file, I mean patches and some optional patches here. And we're going to install every one of these as its own mod. So let's get to it. Download. Go to files. So we want both the main files here. I'm going to get these going. Looks like a pretty big download. Well, 631. My download's a little bit slower than usual tonight. Let's look at the other optionals. We want Noble Chair, Ancient Dwemer Display, and Weapon Plaque and Display for Rustic Furniture. Okay. So we want Dwemer Display, Noble Chair, and well, Weapon Plaque and Display Case Patch for Rustic Furniture. Okay, so almost done. Good. We have two uh, separate mods here. One for the main file and one for the patches main file. Okay, let's start with the main file first. Open up the full mod for it. We want a mix and match plugin, USEP version. That's the middle option. Click next. Next. We want the desaturated textures and then install it. All right, good. Let's activate that. Minimize this, and let's open up the patches uh, full mod. So let's go ahead and install patches. All right, guys, take your time here. These are kind of tiny text. And we want to make sure we make the right choices. So starting from the top, let's go with alternate start. Keep going. Cutting room floor. Enchanted lights and effects. False scar. Helgen reborn. Immersive Citizens patch. Cooking going down. Interesting NPCs patch. JK's White Run Interiors patch. We want the Legacy of Dragonborn patch. And we want the Warm's Tooth patch. And that's that. Install. Oh, I forgot to rename it, guys. If you forget to rename it from this window, just cl click on Rename. And I'm just going to add patches to the end of mine. We don't want to merge that. Okay, now I'm gonna activate it. All right, so let's in, let's install the noble chair patch now. Double click, drop down, and noble pat noble chair patch. Okay. Now let's do Dwemer display. Same thing. Drop down, Dwemer display cases. Okay. And then finally the weapon plaques. Double click this, drop down. And let's go to weapon plaque all the way here. Okay. Okay. And now we can activate these and let's clear this out. Okay. That is it for snazzy furniture. Solitude and temple frescoes SSE. This mod adds painted frescoes to the temple of divines and solitude. So we're going to install it. And there's some things we do not want to install or things that you want to delete. So piece of cake, go to files, mod metro download. Double click, click on manual, and uncheck uh, Solitude Temple uh, Temple Frescoes uh, Expanded, Solitude Temple Frescoes Expanded, and Solitude Temple Frescoes Small. You should only have Frescoes Big selected here, and then click OK. Activate that. 
Stunning Statues of Skyrim. This mod is a high quality meshes and texture for the Statues of Skyrim. So install the main file with the installer fix. Oh, only one option to download. Okay, mod manager. Download. Close that up. Let's open up this full mod to get ready. Whew, a lot of choices again. All right, I'm gonna open this up. Basically, we're choosing everything. Make all our statues pretty. All right, next, next. All right, starting with Dabella, we want HD texture, HD meshes for Dabella, and we want a 2K texture. Next, next. Neat Nocturnal, we want the HD meshes, and we want a 2K texture, second option. Next, next again, Azura, Azura meshes, HD meshes, and 2K. Next. Next. Talos. We do not want any meshes because we already replaced the, the mesh. Remember, the one with the greatsword. So none for that, but we want the 2K textures. Next. Next. Yizgrimar. We want the HD mesh and we want the 2K textures. Next. Next. Meridia. We want the HD mesh and we want the Meridia Black 2K. Next. Next. Madness Malakath. We want the first option here, HD Mesh No Glow for Stone Texture. And for Malakath Textures, we want Malakath Stone 2K. Next. Next. Winter Hold Mesh. We want the ENV Mesh Default Cape Reduce Glow option here. Then we want the 4K Texture for Winter Hold Textures. Next. Next. Clavicus Mesh. Clever Clavicus. We want the HD Mesh Default Mask. And we want the 2K Textures down here. Next again, next, um, Boethia. We want the HD mesh, and we want the 4K textures. Click on next again, next. Have fun, guys. Uh, HD mesh, Namira 2K. Next again, next. Uh, Magnetic Mara, HD mesh, Mara 2K. Click on next. When will it end? Mehrun's Mesh, we want HD Mesh. Mehrun's Green Texture, Green 2K rather. Next, next, Vehement Vermina. We want the HD Mesh and the 4K Textures. Next, next, Skyforge. We want Skyforge 4K. Next, next. Wow, so many choices. Falmer Mesh, tick the box next to HD Mesh. Falmer Rustic Copper 4K. Next, next, Sauvignard Mesh. We want the HD Mesh and we want the 4K texture. And finally, guys, click that install button. Phew. Minimize that full mod. Click on that box next to Stunning Statues of Skyrim. Now, WizKid Hag Raven Clutter and Bones. This mod replaces the texture of all Hag Raven Clutter and animal bones, including trophies with antlers that can be found hanging on the walls of many Skyrim buildings. We want the main file, add bones, clutter, add bones. Okay. <laughs> it's only one option here. Mod manager download. And let's get the full mod ready. So double click on this to install it. So we want main file, main installation 2K. And we want the high poly project patch and then click install. Who boy, minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out here, right-clicking, delete installed downloads. I'm right-clicking in this window here, all mods, collapse all, and wow. I think uh, we've earned a well-deserved break. That was that was a long process, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me. I am going to eat some candy corn because it is that season, and I will see you in the next video.